Hi there guys, it's Rick here. Hope you're all doing extremely well out there. I know I am. Hope you enjoyed that video at the start. It's a little hybrid picking study that I've put together just for you guys. And I uh, hope you've been working hard on the previous couple of videos, the techniques that I showed you there because you're gonna be needing them for this study. Uh, don't worry if you haven't anyway. Um, so let's get straight into showing you exactly what I'm playing in that video in the study. So we're going to start in uh, D minor, okay, and uh, it's the same picking pattern that I showed you in the previous video. We just apply it to a slightly different shape. Again it's pentatonic. So we're going to start fret 10, D, so nice and steady. So let me tell you exactly what the picking pattern is. Down, middle, down, middle, off, middle, down, middle, down, middle, off, middle, down, middle, down, middle, off, on, down, middle, down, middle, down, on, down, middle, down, middle, down, middle, down, middle. Okay. So uh, that's it repeated. So when we go to the next shape, we're simply gonna move the root up a semitone. Okay. Um, and we're gonna play this pattern. Okay, once more. So what is that? It's slightly different to the pattern that we played that I played uh, initially, uh, and I've done that um, purposely, of course, <laughs> just to test you guys, also to test myself, you know, it's important um, to push yourself. So, what do we have? We have down, middle, down, middle, down, middle, slide, middle, off, on, down, middle, down, middle, down, on, down, on, down, middle, down, middle, down, on, down, on, down, middle, down, middle. That leads us beautifully into our next sequence here. So uh, it's minor again, but we're not going to copy exactly what we did uh, in D. We're going to change it around a little bit. Okay. Um, so we're going to play, it introduces a slightly different shape this time, which is... Okay, or is it that? <laughs> Sometimes forget. Anyway... Uh... Okay, so it's exactly the same picking pattern as the initial D um, D minor shape. Okay, it's slightly, um, yeah, it's that. Um, slightly more awkward than the initial one, so this might require a little bit more practice. Now, once we do, we move down a step here to, um, to this, and it's exactly the same as we played before. Um, down the tone, I believe. Okay, so it's exactly the same, nice and slowly. Okay, good. That leads us beautifully into our next arpeggio shape. And uh, we introduce um, a dominant arpeggio here. Again, it's the same right hand picking pattern. So this is the beauty of this study is that once we've got one pattern, we can just apply it to um, different arpeggii. <laughs> so. Experiment with the fingering. You don't have to copy exactly what I do with the fingering. 
uh, you know, um, just experiment with it and see what works for you. So that's our dominant seventh. Now we play a diminished seventh. Oh, sorry. Okay, uh, and again, same right hand picking pattern. When we descend, we're gonna change position. Yeah, so. Makes it a lot easier to go to our next chord, which is here. Uh, and we're gonna copy um, the picking, the, the pattern that we played uh, here. But it's over a minor chord. So let me show you what that is. So exactly the same until we get to here. So same picking. And that is okay, so and then when we repeat, we're going to play a major seventh instead of a minor seventh. Same here with a major seventh. So let me play those two again. Minor seven. Minor seven. Major seven. Whoops. And then finish with a major seven here. like a minor major nine chord here. So root, minor third, major seven, ninth. Okay, that's the full study. Um, there's lots to take on board here. Always take it steady. Um, I've, like I said before, I alternated um, that particular technique that we worked on in previous videos and changed it for, the, for, the, for, the, for each second arpeggio. Um, you know, just to make it more challenging, basically, because uh, it's important to be able to switch between um, picking patterns and do it comfortably and do it well, you know, smoothly. Anyway, I think that pretty much wraps up this video. Um, I hope I've given you lots to think about in terms of hybrid picking. I'm going to be posting a lot more because I'm really, like I said before, I'm really delving quite deep into the hybrid picking um, style and, and technique, and it's yielding some some pretty wonderful sounding results. Um, so I'm gonna do it some more and uh, I will be sharing my ideas with you in um, subsequent videos. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, make sure you subscribe. Also, if you want to uh, support what I do, head, out, head over to my website. Link is in the description box below where you can download um, lots and lots of lesson content. So that helps me out a ton. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and um, I will catch up with you guys in the next video. Cheers.